Jesus. Love you, Jesus loves you. So I was listening to a pretty cool song, pretty cool song, and uh, yeah. Anyways, I re I realized something. Uh, the last couple mornings, I've woke up and tried to make a video, tried to make a vlog, and I'm like, I talk for a minute about nothing, and then I end the video. I posted one or two where it was like that and another couple I deleted because I'm like, I'm not saying anything worth anything. So it's about, I got to remember that it's about Jesus. Like, <laughs> uh, anyways, so anyways, I was listening to a song and it reminded me that like a lot of times pastors with, if someone's struggling with their salvation, they'll try to tell them that they're saved, that Jesus loves them, that God's working everything for their good, um, which, which can make them feel better, I guess. But if someone is not saved, if they're not a Christian, you don't try to convince them that they are a Christian. Like, that's the opposite of what God is doing. If someone is doubting their salvation, that's because they're not saved. And if you're not doubting your salvation, you still might not be saved. But anyways, what, what a pastor should do if someone is questioning their salvation is not to tell them they're saved, but to tell them to examine themselves to see if they're saved to read the New Testament, to read the Bible, to pray. And then the pastor should meet with them and talk about what salvation is and see if they're saved. And if they're not saved, that's good news. That's good news because they can be. Once you realize, like, I'm not a part of God's family. I don't know Jesus intimately. I don't, like you know, I don't know what I'm doing here. Like, that's a good thing. Cause like when you realize you're lost in the forest, that's when you can start trying to find your way back to Jesus. <laughs> so anyways, and there's some songs that say like, you're chosen, you're forgiven, you're this, you're that. Okay, God loves us, that's just true. Like, God loves us and he died for everyone. He loves everyone and he died for everyone. But that doesn't mean everyone is a Christian. So we should remind our, everyone, everyone should remind themselves that God died for them and loved them, loves them, currently loves them, no matter what we do. But uh, we should seek salvation and, uh, and not give up. So another thing is, is I've heard stories like multiple stories of people like something happens at a church and their pastor disappoints them or the people are just mean to them at church or whatever. And it's very, it's very disappointing if your church family or your pastor or like if they hate you or don't like you or you just like, I don't really know about God anymore. All right. Christianity, Christianity is between you and Jesus it's between you and Jesus. So if the pastor does something bad or the congregation doesn't like you, like that's between them and God. Like you need to make sure that you stay on track with Jesus. That it's all about you and Jesus. It's not about the pastor or the church. And another thing is growing up, I used to always just listen to what the pastor said, listen to what the pastor said, and I would never read my Bible. And when I started reading my Bible, I'm like, there's so much here. And it's impossible for a pastor 
to cover everything about God because God is infinite. So a pastor can't possibly tell you all you need to know, like especially one hour a week, like you need to get into the word of God, the word of Jesus, (laughs) get into the word of God and read it for yourself and don't rely only on the pastor rely on prayer and the Bible. And then if the pastor helps, that's a good thing. So if you need wise counsel from, I don't know if there are any, but (laughs) if there's any real Christians, like talk to them, ask them stuff, but uh, don't let church or pastors turn you away from God. It's between you and Jesus and get into the Bible yourself and pray yourself and try to get saved yourself. And it, and then it's also good if you know any real Christians to talk to them and pray with them. Like I love, I, I've pr- obviously <laughs> I've prayed with other people before and it's amazing when you're praying for God's, w- for Jesus with other people, it's friggin' amazing. So, like anyways so what was the point of this oh so we shouldn't tell people they're chosen they're saved we we should tell them i don't know if you're chosen or saved but god loves you and he died for you and you can prove that you're chosen or you're saved by repenting of your sin and giving your life to jesus and it may be it may be a hard road it was a hard road for me to get saved. And then it got like, actually it got really great right after that. And then it got completely horrible. And then, and then it got better. So like, anyway, life is hard. So like, but eternity, like there's eternity. So we have to get saved. We have to think of Jesus. So. So we don't tell people we're saved. We tell them that God loves them and to examine themselves to see if they're saved and to seek with all their heart until they find. And Jesus is worth everything. Like for the last month, about the last month, I've been really, really struggling and I didn't know why. And then like, I felt like God, uh, God kind of showed me why I was struggling and like God is teaching us stuff in the hard times. So anyways, so don't tell someone they're saved, tell them God loves them and make sure that they actually are saved, like to examine themselves and then don't rely on like pastors and churches or family or friends or Christians. Like it's between you and Jesus like don't it like um it's up to you to find Jesus it's not up to anyone else it's up to you to find Jesus and draw near to God and he'll draw near to you so if you draw near to God he will draw near to you and if you seek with all your heart and don't give up you will find Jesus you will get saved and yeah so like other Christians, if they're a real Christian, it's amazing. And I'm not saying don't go to church, but I'm saying like, ultimately it comes down to you and Jesus and Jesus is always good. And he's always good. He's always loving. He's always, you know what I'm saying? Anyways. So there's my, (laughs) um, all right. Well, Continue your relationship with Jesus. If you're already saved, hold on to what you have and keep following Jesus. Uh, If you're not saved yet, keep following Jesus. Jesus loves us no matter where we are. But we have to make a decision. We have to give our life to Jesus. Like that's that's, uh, necessary. Today is the day of salvation. Give your life to Jesus um, before it's too late. So anyways, all right.
All right, love you, Jesus loves you. Have a godly great day. Carry on. If it's not godly, it's not great. Love you.